welcome and now let's uh, move to our head sql and we will check and we will see how we can take backup in head uh, sql and how we can import export and uh, we, how you can take us uh, just uh, as to insert data into a single table or quick insert table into a database so there are different things that we just we will stick to our database backup in hedi uh, sql right now the hedi sql is running i am closing it and uh, start from scratch and click hedi and it, this is your session name click open it will the on a local local host this hedi sql so open it when you open it and your databases will be right here so these are the databases uh, one of them is now the my course cache we will play with that database and we will see uh, when you to create a database you just create uh, on your local host session name and you can create and create new database very simple and when you take to backup of your database you have to go to right click export database as sql and we can export from our database so database is our my cost cache and what we want to do with that database so in a backup we did there uh, there are two four, four checks for database and table so if you want to drop database click and if you want to drop table you will these the two checks are for that if you have a same if you find the same database name micos cache in your hedi or any php my admin so first drop these databases already exist with the same name and also drop the table and create a new database with the name my course cache and create all the tables in that database which is my course cache so these four checks will do the thing that i'm right now describing so let's create our first scenario that we just want uh okay only we are not dropping the existing databases we are just creating a database and create the tables and we will check it and the option is also here it is yes no data delete and insert 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 ignore do not update existing data so there are different checks you can take when you taking your backup so now right now we are taking the backup of my course cache and we are just creating the database with the same name my course cache and including all the tables and the data inside the these tables we are inserting when we are taking the backup so database will be created with the name my course cache and all the tables in my course cache will be created and when new database is created it will insert all the data that is in your um, uh, the, the database that you are going to take backup so this is the check and you can define the output pathway you can uh, clipboard sql file zip and uh, also you can uh, take the path where you want it so we want a, a single sql file or zip compress sql file now so this there are two or three four options that you can take it okay before taking its backup let me show you the uh, exact existing database which is my course cache and in a database you can see in a data we have some data categories companies countries and we have some data in that existing database 
we are just taking backup of this database so right click your database export database as sql and we are taking create database and create tables and data is insert when you create the data and table you have to insert the data and output is the sql file single sql file and here you can give it to the path where you want to take that it actually this is the script sql script it will create and my course cache underscore backup okay save it and when you export it will create the script so now the script is created you can see the script has, has been created okay now uh, i am dropping that database to show you the um, how we can import the database drop drop database yes and refresh it check the database my cost cache is not drop it is no more here and it, this is the script and close your hdsql okay and double click the script it will open the session when it is open now you can see this this is the script that we have recently take backup it will dumping database structure for my course cache create database if not exist my course cache it will create the database if there is no my course cache use my course cache as the name of the database also create database if not create table if not exist budget so it has create the script for all tables that we have just taking the backup so you see it is it has created this script and also with the values and the column name with the values getting column names and with their insert into the values so it is now creating database and in that database it will create tables and in tables it will create columns and in columns it will push data so this is the complete script that it is we have recently right now we have take the export it okay how do we can do it just right now now you can run execute sql query so sql query when you click on it will create it so the script is now running right now you can see sql error variable foreign key checks cannot be set to value of one okay so with one error it has created the database we have just exported and when you refresh see my course cache is back and uh, sorry my course cache is back with the data here is the data categories companies continues so see we have our database so we can take easily backup so okay now uh, the other option uh, export database and right now we will do a drop something so we will drop if the database exists if the tables are exist we will create a new table database and creates and data is to insert so it will insert new data and you can name it uh, let me do underscore one to change it export it will export the data is exported 
here the da database is exported now dropped this database so the database is dropped which one is dropped yes the database drops close it so this is my course crash backup underscore one so when you click on it will ask the to open the sessions open your session and click the script is created so when you run the script it will create it so the data is back so we have just take to if the database exists drop it now the data we have import the database right and we will do again to drop it this database and again create a new database with the data open it and run the script uh, it will drop the previous micros cache and it will add a new create a new database so with the data okay so it has been right now created and you we can see the data so here is the data again it is done so take care